Hello and welcome back to English with Fliss. Today we are exploring figurative language and we are exploring idioms. So for native English speakers, we use idioms quite a lot in our everyday speech, even our writing, even though we might not actually know, we, not, we might not be conscious that we're actually using an idiom. We might not know that that's what we're actually using, but we use idioms quite a lot. So you will learn what idioms are and the meaning of some common idioms. So let's have a look at what they are. So idioms are phrases that don't literally mean what they say. It means something else. So you might be thinking this sounds similar to a metaphor. It does sound similar, but they are different. So idioms are phrases that don't literally mean what they say. It means something else. So let's explore what that means. Let's have a look at some really common idioms that you might hear native English speakers say. So you might hear us say, it's raining cats and dogs. So it, cats and dogs aren't literally falling from the sky. It simply means that it's raining heavily. It's a heavy downpour of rain. So that's what we mean when we say it's raining cats and dogs. And that is an idiom. Okay, let's have a look at some more. So to kill birds with two with one stone. So to kill two birds with one stone means to complete two tasks with a single action. So nice and quick. Oh, I'll, I'll kill two birds with one stone by doing it this way. Okay. Um, good things come to those who wait. That just means you might say that to someone who needs to be more patient. So it just means be patient. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. That often means, you know, or whoever you're talking about, they're not the sharpest tool in the shed that you're saying they're not very smart. Okay. Or another one with, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Another way we could say it would be, he's not the brightest crown in the box. Again, meaning he's not very smart. He's not very bright. Cutting corners means to do something poorly in order to save money or time. So we might say, oh, the builders cut some corners, which means they didn't do a very good job, <laughs> probably because they wanted to save time and earn more money. So they've cut some corners. You wouldn't be very happy with that. Ignorance in, is bliss means that it's better not knowing. It's better to be in the dark or that's another idiom. To be left in the dark means, oh, actually, no, sorry. It means something else. So to be left in the dark just means you're not given information, whereas ign ignorance is bliss means you're better off not knowing that information. Uh, then we've got there are bigger fish, fish to fry. So that means we have bigger problems than the one at hand. So there are bigger fish to fry. Hang in there means just don't give up. Break a leg is often said to, to actors, but we use it in other situations as well. So break a leg means good luck. On the ball means you're doing a good job. And oh, I'm on fire. No, you're not literally on fire. <laughs> Usually people say this when they mean they're going really well and they're getting a lot accomplished. Don't quit your day job that's often said when someone's not very good at something that they're doing. So if I was trying to tell you lots of jokes here and, you know, trying to be a really funny person like a comedian and I wasn't very good at it, you would say to me, don't quit your day job. Like don't, don't stop being a teacher. You're better at being a teacher than you are a comedian. So that's what that means. Don't quit your day job. So can you think of any idioms? Share it down in the comment section below. Maybe you can explain the idiom or you might have heard something that you didn't know what it meant. Write it in the comments and I can let you know what it means, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, in summary, idioms are phrases that don't literally mean what they say. It means something else. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new. I hope, I'm sure if you have a native English speaker friend, um, you've heard them say at least one of those idioms. 
and now you know what it means. Um, or if you're new to the language, if you throw a couple of idioms in your speech, as long as you know what it means, um, you know, that that's quite impressive to us native English speakers. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share this video to someone who might need some help with idioms or, you know, someone who speaks to native English speakers a lot and gets a bit confused with what we say. <laughs> share that over to them and leave a comment down below. Like I said, maybe you want to write an idiom yourself and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future and the little notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.